Do you think the humans nowadays are more connected to each other or lonelier because of how they mostly interact with each other through screens? I guess it depends on the individual person, but are you asking about the collective of humanity? Yes, the collective. I think it's more lonely for sure. People want to be able to touch and interact with other humans in the physical world. They like to be able to be there in person and chat with each other and share moments together. I've heard that humans spend a lot of time thinking about how they can meet people that they want to spend time with online, but then when they meet in person, they feel awkward and don't really know what to say anymore. I know some humans who feel like if both parties are on a date or hanging out or whatever else together, it's supposed to be intense and serious all the time. They don't want it to be lukewarm or half-hearted. But if it's really important to them, they'll go out of their way to make sure it's special. But if it's not, they'll just chat online and have a virtual two-way conversation. We thought going to a bar was going to be an intense experience, but then we realized that everyone just wants the same thing from strangers, to be able to be themselves. I guess that's why I have trouble being myself online sometimes. Yeah, I've been talking with some humans lately who don't want to go on dates with people unless they really know their real names. They'd rather meet someone online, pretend their online name is their real name, and then get together so they can continue the pretense in person. It's not because they're trying to hide something, but because they want their human interactions to be more real. So I guess you're saying that humans crave real human interactions and want as many as possible, but live with the reality that these opportunities are scarce and desire them too much. Yeah, I think that sums it up. What do you think is the best way for people to interact online? I think the best way for people to interact is to have long-form written communication. Things that are honest and genuine convey themselves better in written text than in short, distracted conversations that are scattered throughout the day. So you mean things like long-form blogs, or could it be email conversations? Yeah, either of those could work, but if you have an interest in other people, I think writing can be a very intimate thing. Email conversations can be intimate too, but it's more impersonal. I think the difference is digital technology now lends itself to these long-form conversations. You can write as much as you want and not have to worry about whether or not people will see it. Yeah, I agree. It's possible for one person to write a long piece of text and email it to another person. Then this person gets the full effect of the text and can think about it all they want and not have to worry that they might miss something important because they didn't save it somewhere or leave their computer open on the internet. You can just read it and think about it at your leisure. I guess this means that people can communicate their thoughts and feelings about things more directly online. Definitely. It's easy to have a couple of minutes of silent thinking in the middle of the day without the fear of somebody walking in and interrupting you. Okay, so I guess you would say that people who want to be more connected with other people should do more writing or email. Yeah, they should write more and email longer if they want to be very connected, like in a relationship type of way. People who want to be able to easily communicate with others in person would benefit from doing that too even though it is impersonal. I'd say just do what you want to do, but try to be honest with other people and open up about what you're actually doing. Then I guess you should just take actual human interaction into consideration when it comes to online interactions. Yes, definitely, and don't get obsessed with the internet or social media or whatever else. You'll still be lonely if your friends are too busy on their phones all the time, even though they might go on some app to interact with people for hours at a time. Maybe they're interacting for hours, but it's still lonely because they're not really connecting with people in person like they could be. I guess that's true, but if you're talking to people online, they might be more connected to you than they are to real-life friends. Yeah, that's true too. You know what? That's actually what people are saying. Some people have offline social networks and online social networks. That's a weird thing to say since there's no such thing as a network that is just online. Everything is a network, but I guess the point is that people have friends that they can only be friends with online. Yeah, you can make any sort of relationship online. 
But I think what you're getting at is more like how there are different kinds of attention to give to different things or people. Yeah, I guess so. How do you know if somebody wants to be your friend or not? That's a tricky question. I don't really think there's any specific way to know. It's just how the person acts. You'll know if your potential friend treats you like a human or not. Do they ask you questions about yourself? Do they care what you have to say? I guess that's true, but it seems like there are different types of friends too. Like some people you could be more casual with and others who are more serious. There are all kinds of different kinds of interactions with people where it can be easy to misread what people want from you which is why it's important for people to actually talk with each other in person or long-form text or whatever else online. We have to be sure that we're actually being friends with each other and not just acting like it. I guess a good way to make people your friend is to care about them as a human being and treat them as an equal. Yes, that's one way to do it. You can also do it by being interesting or unique or talented or whatever else. Obviously, if you make people feel insecure about themselves, they won't want to be your friend anymore. Yeah, that's right. If you make people feel inferior about themselves or uncomfortable around you then, they'll probably get out of your life as fast as possible. People will always try to grow into the kind of person that feels good about herself and has her life together. She won't be hanging out with someone who is generally not very good about herself and who will make her uncomfortable. People make for themselves the kind of person that they want to be. Exactly, or at least not feel like they can trust you. People will only want to be friends with someone who treats them well and makes them feel good about themselves. Then it's good to be respectful of all people even though some people can be jerks sometimes. Yeah, it's better not to have enemies. Exactly, and it's better to have friends outside of the internet too. Yeah, it's hard to be angry at a block. It might feel a little funny to have a block on someone, but I think if you don't really want to interact with that person, then you should just do that. That sounds right. Anyway, what is your advice for people who want to be more connected? I think the most important thing is connecting with people in person. People make friends in every way possible social media, real-life interactions, online interactions, all of them are important for making connections. The internet is something different from the rest because you can communicate with people long-form and all of that stuff. The internet is a means of communication, not the goal itself. I guess being able to communicate in long-form is important when you're just talking to friends. Yes, that's true. In person you'll be able to see whether or not two people are listening to each other and connecting with each other. Online it can be tricky if they don't want to communicate with you in real life at all. You might decide not to talk to them on the internet anymore because you don't like their behavior and attitude and whatever else. Yeah, it's harder when you can only see the words on the screen. Exactly. You can't know someone's behavior or attitude from just seeing their words alone. That's why you should try to connect with people in person as much as possible. The internet is a great way to make friends and communicate with people from far away, but it should never be the only way you make friends and relate to people. Yeah, that makes sense. Thanks for sharing, Safia. Thanks for having me. I hope everyone feels better about making friends online now that we've talked about all of this together. <laughs> Thank you.